Galactic Standard Date, Year 11356, Day 90, Sol Standard Date, 4th of the 2nd, 3267. Basilus no longer had the time to go save that other ship of Council Beings. He would have to come up with a way to save them in the middle of this battle. The first rift was halfway open, and the glory to the Emperor was lined up and had finished charging the Nova Cannon. All that remained was taking the Warlord out as soon as it revealed his massive head. Mizum was one of the few Felis that was comfortable leaving the Empire of Felic kind. The Council had chosen her to lead this mission because her people were renowned for being magnificent spies. She was extremely stealthy and persuasive. She could handle herself well in a fight to top it all off. The Council had given her a task force consisting of two Sithis who were also renowned experts in stealth. One, Ascari, who were infamous for their innate ability to see things at positively ridiculous distances, and one Yambi. The Yambi had always looked simply delectable to Mizen for reasons she couldn't fathom. All those tentacles on the larger variation species. To Mizen, they just looked like delicious tentacled umbrellas. Not to mention the smaller subspecies that is basically just a floating head with face tentacles. Her mission was to lead this specialist task force into the Terran warship that the Atene had run off to. From there, her goal was to save the Atene if possible. If it wasn't a likely thing, then she would give them quick deaths and leave. Mizen looked to the two Sithis. Ren? Sven? I need you two to try and restrain the upper limbs of these creatures when we get there, she said as she looked to the Yambi. Ali, your job when we get our first catch is to get a hold on their legs, thus immobilizing them along with Ren and Sven she said. Vela looked to Mizen. What am I to do, Mizen? he asked. Mizen smiled. Your role is the most critical of them all, actually. I need you to use that famed Ascari vision to find us a door on that warship. We couldn't see anything resembling an airlock in the video they showed us. We will be going in full stealth, and it will be your job to spot a door while we circle the ship, she said. Mizen looked back to her console. We are officially at the reconnaissance zone of the star system that ship is supposedly sitting in. Dropping out of hyperspace now, she yelled. The task force stared wide-eyed as they dropped into the most outrageous space battle that's ever happened. Vela gasped. That's no planet. That's a ship. Mizen zoomed in on the ship, and she could see that there was a protrusion coming from the center of the ship, and she pulled up the analytics to get whatever data she could. Her data slate started reading off energy outputs coming from the weapon that were literally impossible. That one gun had as much energy radiating off of it, in its idle state, as a white dwarf star. Then the universe went white. The ship had let off a literal supernova that was turned into a directed blast. Mizen zoomed in on what the concentrated beam of death was targeting. She gasped as she saw a giant tentacled creature pulling itself into this reality. The creature, based on her scans, was about 31.5 kilometers long, fully outstretched, and 12 kilometers high by 10 kilometers wide. Mizen shakily looked at the rest of her team. What? What the hell did we just walk in on? What could that monster be that these dark gods need a weapon that could fire a literal sun? Which is what the fuck is going on? She whispered. Vela was laser focused on the tentacle beast as well as what lay beyond it. The beast they are shooting at. It isn't from a universe. I can see into the rift it is coming through, and it looks like the planes of oblivion from the stories, he said. Vela brought his wings above his head and started a laughing screech. <laughs> I can see it now. These Terrans are our gods of old. The gods had never abandoned us. They just left to this corner of the galaxy to protect us. They evolved to fight a war that we could not hope to partake in, for we were the weak, he yelled. Mizen just looked back to the battle that was unfolding before her very eyes and thought to herself, damn fanatics, this isn't some religious war. This is just a war between two who should not exist in the same playing field we do. Finally, the Nova hit his target. The Nova went straight through the tentacle beast and into the rift behind it, which caused the rift to collapse with a bang that the team could hear, even through vacuum. A lie hadn't made a sound up until he spoke in, while sounded to miss it like a horrified tone. Why do those evil creatures resemble me so? I look at them and I get shivers. They are obviously evil creatures who are not of our plane of existence, yet they look almost as I do. Will the gods hate me too? He asked. 
Ren and Sven just looked at the dejected Yambi. Ren poked him with her tail. Sven and I will beat the gods up if they mean you, ally. Right, Svenny? She said. Sven looked at Ren. How many times have I told you not to call me that at work? Let alone on a critical mission like this. He sighed and nodded at a lie. Look, but I don't know if we could have a chance against those beans even without the obvious technical disadvantage. But if they're the gods of old, then they created you. Why would they hate you? He said. Mizum was just staring at the group behind her. How in the actual fuck are you guys so calm? My tail is so bushed up that I got lightning bouncing around my fur. There's a literal war between gods, she screamed. Hect ven malactifius, half endemus lenta. The whole team got chills. They looked through the cockpit and could see some sort of pale green bubble forming around their ship. Vela started laughing again. <laughs> Look, all ye faithful, the gods are real and they protect us. They have witnessed us as we witness them. They know that we are still weak. So they have used their great power to create a godly barrier that will protect us from evil. <laughs> Mizen stared into the pale green that surrounded her ship, and she could see a lone being. A being in full black armor covered in spikes, shielding them with his body. She could hear a distant voice from within the pale green. Don't you dare hurt the floofs.